Today is the first day of what appears to be a very busy three-day period for severe weather across Oklahoma and North Texas. Good morning from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Norman. I'm Doug Spiehager, and this is a brief look at what we're expecting. There are three days of potential severe weather beginning today and continuing through Monday across Oklahoma and North Texas. There will be a combination of weather ingredients coming together over the southern plain states beginning today, and that combination will get more potent Sunday and Monday when we expect the most intense storms to happen. It looks likely there will be some significant severe storms, including tornadoes, over parts of the area today through Monday. This is one of those situations where it would be very wise to get ready for severe weather and make sure that you have a plan in place to deal with tornadoes just in case they happen. Here's what we think the weather map will look like later this afternoon. The dry line will likely be just near the western border of Oklahoma. With very warm and humid conditions east of the dry line, we would expect to see a few storms develop. As more data comes in, it appears more likely that storms will develop this afternoon and evening across Oklahoma and potentially into north Texas as well. Storms that form will rapidly become severe, and the atmosphere will be unstable enough to support significant severe weather, including hail larger than baseballs, damaging wind gusts, and isolated tornadoes. The most likely area for tornadoes is in the red-shaded area of northwest Oklahoma, but tornadoes will be possible across the orange-shaded area as well. Those people in Oklahoma and North Texas, but especially in western Oklahoma, should pay close attention to the weather this afternoon and this evening. The atmosphere will be even more supportive of significant severe weather on Sunday, and we could see significant and dangerous storms across much of our area. The specific area of storm development are more difficult to predict as storms overnight tonight and Sunday morning will influence where the highest potential will be. But here's the weather map as we expect it to look by late Sunday afternoon. The dry line will be further east across Oklahoma and North Texas with very muggy, warm, and unstable air to the east of the dry line. We expect to see severe storms form along the dry line by mid to late afternoon. With very strong wind shear in place and a lot of unstable air to fuel the storms, those storms will quickly become supercells, and the most intense storms will be capable of producing tornadoes and large and damaging hail. As of right now, we think the highest tornado potential will be in the areas shaded in orange on this map, which will include areas of central and north central Oklahoma, including the Oklahoma City metropolitan area, Shawnee, Seminole, Guthrie, Stillwater, and Ponca City. But again, please don't focus too much on the exact area. The exact placement of tornado risk area will likely change in later forecast as we get more data. If you're anywhere near this area, be very alert and check later forecast. Everyone in the yellow and orange shaded areas should be ready for severe storms, including large hail and damaging winds and potentially tornadoes. Details are even less clear about Monday because the exact location of the boundaries will be determined in part by what happens on Sunday and Sunday night. But here's our current forecast for Monday afternoon. We will see the dry line will likely set up across western Oklahoma and western north Texas again. And with other severe weather ingredients still in place, just about everyone east of the dry line could be dealing with another round of significant severe storms, including the possibility of tornadoes. We haven't drawn out a tornado risk area for Monday just yet due to the uncertainties of the position of various weather features. However, you should really pay close attention to Monday's potential as well, as we could see more dangerous storms across the area. Okay, that's what we're expecting, but now the rest is up to you. You have to be sure you and your family are ready to deal with severe thunderstorms and maybe even tornadoes today, tomorrow, and Monday. So what should you be doing today? A few things you might consider include making sure your storm shelter is ready for action just in case you need it. Have you freshened up your emergency supply kit with water and snacks lately? Do your flashlights still work? Do you have enough batteries? How about a weather radio? And if you have one, does it work? We encourage everyone to at least have three different ways to get a warning, including a weather radio. And finally, one of the most important things you can do is just to stay in touch with the weather. The forecast will change over the next few hours and days, so be sure to check back in frequently with us now and then. There are more places than ever to get weather information these days, and there's almost no excuse for anyone to ever say it's struck without warning. If you live in any of the counties shaded in white, we are watching the weather for you. And the best place to get the most current information is on our website. We're also very active on social media, including Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, but remember that we do not routinely post warnings on any of these. We're watching the weather for you, but it's up to you to pay attention and take action when the weather turns nasty. Also, help us get the word out by sharing our information with friends and family in the area who may not be paying attention. We appreciate your help.